Now in five, some terrifying moments in Kissimmee. An SUV sped through a neighborhood, slamming right into a home. I was laying down um, on my bed. Um, all I heard was it sounded like, um, like a sonic explosion. So we're looking into what caused this crash and how those impacted are cleaning up tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. The SUV ending up crashing into a home, causing the house to be engulfed in flames. New 6's Carolina Cardona is in Kissimmee. And Carolina, were people at home at the time of this crash? Yeah, Ginger and Matt authorities tell us that a family of eight was actually in the house just behind me. And you can see right now the aftermath of that fire starting from the dining room all the way back to the kitchen. It's truly a miracle that no one died in this crash. It sounded like um, a plane collapsed out of midair. I thought um, a bomb went off. Terrifying moments for Isaac Rivera after an SUV slammed into his house Thursday evening. I was laying down on my bed. All I heard was it sounded like um, like a sonic explosion. Ring video from a neighbor shows the car rapidly go down Marabella Drive inside the Villa Sol community in Kissimmee. Seconds later, you can hear the impact. I couldn't breathe because all the smoke was already circulating upstairs. Isaac says once downstairs, he rushed to evacuate his family as flames from the car began to grow. So we had to help everyone jump over all the pillars and all the metal sticks that's sticking up from the pillars to get them out of the, through the garage. The house basically went on fire while everyone was outside. <laughs> Jose Soto was nearly hit by the oncoming SUV. His car was slightly damaged, but he says he's lucky it wasn't worse. So it's going to hit me right head to head. You were parking your car at the moment? Yeah, I parked it over there for a minute. Uh, it should have stayed right there. I see the end by and then I heard the blood boom. Neighbor Yvonne Nichols lives three doors down from where the crash happened. We called 911 and then I rush over to see if I can help. But soon after that, they were fired. And usually there are people jogging here, you know, I mean, after school, there's kids. It was a miracle. That's nobody, nobody else got it. Just really glad that, you know, our whole family is safe. And so now Florida Highway Patrol says that the driver is a 38-year-old man who lives just a few down, houses down from here. Uh, he is believed to have suffered a medical episode prior to the crash. He's now in stable condition at the hospital. Live in Osceola County, Carolina Cardona getting results. News 6.